lots of people now losing their job over at the Little Watch Channel 4, the commercial station over here in the United Kingdom. Of course, it's all about cost cutting and the lack of advertising. That's what the boss, Alex Mahoon, is basically saying is wrong, you know. It's just a downturn in the advertising market. Nothing to do, of course, with the fact that you're placing programs that seemingly nobody wants to watch. It's fascinating to note, isn't it, that when you look at the CV of this particular lady, Alex, who's on millions a year to run a very little watch channel well where did it all go wrong and why are people now being scrapped and fired and left without jobs including of course a London HQ that apparently was going to be refurbished but now staff are never simply going to be returning to as ever let me explain morning nice to see you thank you so much for joining me this does kind of be something of a bugbear because you know when you work in television you do understand that people get jobs because of their connections and who they know they have very very little idea about what the public want outside the London bubble and I don't mean that in a snobby way but what you and I would watch say on a Saturday night or an afternoon in with a cup of tea like a good quiz show with a good host not just the endless cycle of news presenters that have been given a slot and a chance over on ITV simply because they're on the payroll you know the ones I mean yes well you see this is now the problem for television but of course it's never the boss's fault but one of the biggest reasons why the boss of Channel 4 has managed to lose so much goodwill and more importantly advertising revenue and viewership is simply making the wrong programs you see if you recall it was Channel 4 that literally delighted in the fact that they were going to be making Prince Andrew the musical remember that debacle that cost literally thousands and thousands of pounds because of course there were lawyers attached to make sure they didn't get any problematic uh, kickbacks from what they were doing on screen that literally was not just a huge failure over here in the United Kingdom but unable to sell around the world so effectively a dot you know you couldn't make any money from it oh no but Alex hadn't quite finished she decided then to get out the attack dog and turn on the former British Prime Minister Boris Johnson right all about Partygate based on of course those alleged revelations now what's interesting again is the public don't care they tune into television to be entertained Partygate Boris was another huge flop and guess what Alex you couldn't sell that around the world also there's been so many since of course plus they had the debacle of their star newsreader Christian Guru Murphy being suspended for a week because he swore live on air at a government minister outside number 10 Downing Street you couldn't simply make this debacle up could you but for now while Alex decides whether she has to return to her emergency funding plot to cover the lost revenue that she so helped diminish well seemingly she's still in a job on over two million plus per year no doubt with bonuses that is until somebody wakes up and finally says let's get the remote button and switch Alex off. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.